This is where we as filmmakers, photographers, and creatives spend most of our time. It's where we learn, think, create, research, edit, make our visions come to life, and finish projects. It needs to inspire and facilitate our creative process, but they are not all made the same. This is the art desk. <laughs> this desk is such a good combination of function and just sheer beauty. It looks incredible, but it also facilitates my creative process so well. And that's why it's one of the most interesting desks I've seen in a while. As filmmakers and creatives, we spend an incredible amount of time at our desks. And that's why it actually matters what our desk setup is like. And the main piece of that setup is obviously the desk. And for me, when I'm looking at a desk, it needs to hit a few points. First off, it has to be sit stand. I'm constantly going back and forth between the two. And so it needs to be sit stand and preferably motorized. Secondly, there has to be a good way of dealing with cables. I hate seeing all the clutter and the cables on the desk and I'm usually really bad at this. And that's partly because I feel like my desk has never been that good for dealing with cables. And lastly, it just has to look good. It, when you come to the office and you look at it, it has to be like, man, I'm gonna get some work done. It can't be like, oh, I gotta go, gotta go work over here. It, it can't be like that. The art desk is made by a small company in Estonia. They reached out to me and, and usually I wouldn't make like a full video on a desk, but the art desk hit all three of these categories unlike any other desk I've owned before. Before I forget, uh, we have a whole bunch of NMO stuff on the site. Uh, we have new hoodies, shorts, t-shirts. It's so funny seeing the reaction of people being a little bit skeptical on NMO and then ordering it and then wearing it and they're like, Holy crap, like the quality, the designs are so good. And then they're just like asking like, do you, do you have any more of those t-shirts? Do you have any more of those hoodies? Tyler, Tyler's wearing one of the new ones right here. Ah, nice. yeah, it looks nice. so good. Little, <laughs> this is one of those hoodies details. that makes you look like casual, but also like sleek at the You're same like, time. Who's this cool guy? Yeah, who's man? this cool dude? All right, get back to work. Right. <laughs> this one's not out yet. I'm wearing one of the prototypes. Uh, we're still coming out with new designs all the time. So I'm testing this one out. First of all, the art desk is a fully functioning sit stand desk. So it's got a motorized mechanism. Uh, there's like an actual physical switch so you can make it go up or down. But there's also an app that you can use to control it and set favorites, which is really nice. And if you've never used a sit stand, I, I don't know if that's actually the right term for one of these, but uh, a desk that you could sit and stand at, man, you have been missing out. For me, I used to get tons of headaches and stuff editing from for long periods of time. And I just found that my posture was worse when I'm only sitting. And so what I usually do is I come into the office and I'll start off standing. And then there's like certain tasks where it feels like I can't do them standing. I need to like use all my brain power. And so I sit down or if it gets a little stressful, I might sit down. Um, but also, I don't know if you guys have seen, there's so many studies showing that just sitting for eight hours a day is so bad for your health. And so uh, this is the best option, in my opinion, where you can stand when you want to and need to, but then you can also take a breather and sit for a little while. Now, this is where really the beauty and function start to kind of intertwine on this desk. One of the biggest issues with desk usually is cable management for me. It's just like, it's hard to deal with all of the cables coming out if you got monitors or speakers or anything like that. It's just, it's really annoying. And the art desk has a very interesting way of dealing with cables that I haven't seen before. And so what they've done is they've actually cut this like really cool diagonal slit into the desk itself. And then there's this little opening where you can kind of pull cables through and then slot them into the slit wherever they need to be. So not only is it a really cool way of dealing with your cables, they can go straight down under the desk, but it also looks really 
cool. I like that they did it on a bit of a diagonal that's not straight. It just has a really nice aesthetic to it. And then underneath there's like a little tray that catches all the cables and stuff. And I'm actually gonna put like a single power bar on that little tray so that I can plug everything into that tray instead of having to plug them into the wall. And because that opening on the right side is big enough, you can actually mount something like a microphone stand straight into the desk. It almost looks like you've built the microphone stand into the desk and that's a really cool feature in my opinion, especially for you know live streamers or people who film at their desk often. You can just have that microphone there, pull it down and it, it looks like it's a part of it. it. Doesn't look like you know there's a bunch of cables everywhere. It's just kind of like cluttering the desk. Smile, you're on candid camera. Tom, so I have to tell you, don't film me. The only thing that I wish this had in terms of cable management was like one power cable, maybe through the leg or something that would go to that tray. And so that would keep it even sleeker. Now you're always gonna have like one cord going to the wall and it would just be so nice if there wasn't even like that cord hanging down just along the floor to the plug. That would be really cool in my opinion. And lastly, it's freaking beautiful. It's got this really cool minimalist Scandinavian Nordic style. Uh, Estonia is like one country below Finland. So it's very in line with what I like. I love the matte black look. And then with the birch accents, it's so nice. And even just like, like the legs, usually on sit stand desk, the legs are kind of just like very basic because it's like the motorized mechanism. Here, we've got both. We have the motorized mechanism, which, which is the thicker leg down there. But then you have these really cool wooden legs that just give it a way nicer aesthetic in my opinion. But I think one of my favorite things is that matte black finish. It just looks so nice in my opinion. Now I could see, um, you know, that finish being not as good at withstanding, you know, putting stuff on it. Maybe it'll get scratched up or something like that. So far I haven't had any issues, but I could see something like that happening. And of course, if you're mounting the microphone and it's heavier, I could see that leaving some sort of mark. I just wanted to check. Yeah, it does look like the microphone when we've had it there ha has kind of left a little bit of a mark. Um, so that kind of stuff could maybe be better, but I think it's really rare to see such a good combination of function and beauty. Usually we kind of get one or the other. You get a really nice functional desk, but it looks like crap, or you get a really nice looking desk, but it has no function, no sit stand, no cable management, none of that stuff. And the art desk, I feel like does both. And I, I, I don't know, I just wanted to highlight it because it's a smaller company and they're just doing something really cool that I haven't seen before. Um, so yeah, I, I kind of just wanted to shout them out. I, there's no, no ads here or anything like that. They did send me this to check out, but this isn't a paid thing or anything like this. Um, yeah, I just, I just like it a lot. Oh, 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 o